Hello everyone, today I'd like to show off CXBQN's capability of running BQN code on a GPU. It's still pretty early and pretty rough around the edges, but I thought some of you might like to see it. So earlier this summer, there was an Arraycast episode with Henry Rich, I believe it was the July episode, I'll put a link in the description. And I believe in that episode, he talked about working with some company to make a proprietary version of J that could run some code on a GPU. And that was the motivation for trying to get a BQN runtime to run on a GPU. So I'm going to hop over to my development machine and I'm going to clone CXBQN. Next, I'll create a quick build directory and run CMake to get everything configured. I'll enable the read line option of CXBQN to have a nice REPL, and I'll enable the CUDA option to enable CUDA execution. I'll also be using uh, GCC9 to build this code. Next, I'll build everything. You can see I still have some warnings in the code, so there's still a lot of rough edges to work out. Here I start up a BQN REPL, and I'll just run a few quick code examples to show you what it looks like. Uh, just made a mistake here. So here I show checking um, for every number between 0 and 9 is that number greater than 3. And this is performed on a GPU. It's as simple as that. So the system function CUDA4 will, it's a one modifier, so it'll take a function as its left argument um, and then execute that function on a GPU with the other two arguments. Now, right now it only takes some basic arithmetic functions and runs them on a GPU with uh, two data arguments, so there's a lot of capability missing here, but for very basic arithmetic functions, you can run them on a GPU and maybe wrap them up in a function to make it look a little bit nicer. Here I'll just run a couple more examples. I'll take each number from 0 to 9 to the power of each number from 9 to 0, and I'll take the floor of each number from 0 to 10 and the reverse of 0 to 10, and that's it. There are quite a few other arithmetic functions that you can run on a GPU with CXBQN. Not many, but there are some more. And I'm hoping some other folks might find this interesting and maybe want to help out and write some more of the runtime functions uh, so we can all execute some more BQN code on a GPU. I hope you all enjoyed this, and please head over to the GitHub page and clone the code and try it out yourself. Thanks all. Have a good one.